had this boyfriend. Oh my god, her name is Sadie. I gotta speed this up. And I'm like, one day, I don't, I just ended up making out with him. It was what the fuck? Oh my god, chat. What do you want to watch more, exes or 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 best friends? Not gonna lie, bro. All the best friends, all being women, kind of crazy, dude. Nigga said it's just white bitch. <laughs> oh shit, nigga said neither. Anything else? X is a way better vid. That's how I feel, cause at least I can give you the male perspective of the of the, di of the dichotomy of the situation, so we can get re-encrypted. Let me put it on double speed, almost. You know you were all bro, he looked like Billy Eilish. What the fuck am I watching? Yo, it's a lot going on. Yo, when did Billy get like this? Where do I put myself? Always just like nagging me to do things. Hello and welcome to Split Decision. I'm your host, Kot Takahashi, and today we brought four ex-couples. Was not studio. expecting that last Some name. Some couples are reuniting for the first time. Some are still seeking closure. That is a lie. And some may still be in love. I really just like want to be with you. You're about to face oh my God. the most intimate questions you've ever been asked. You Her face trash. Yeah. All right, let's do this. The first prompt is, I will miss having sex with my ex. Of course. My bad. Do this. The first prompt is, I will miss having sex with my ex. Make your split decision in three, two, one. All right, go ahead and turn around. Okay, they said yes. Damn. <laughs> Dane, you say yes, but Luna, you say no, I will not miss having sex with my ex. Why is that? Um, I just haven't really felt any sexual urges for anyone for a while, so it's not just him in particular. It's just not something that's been on my mind lately. Mm -hmm. Dane. I mean, yeah, I totally would would love to, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I'm just gonna have to move on from his fit. Crazy. That. How does it feel knowing that she's stepping on the no right there? Oh, it's, it's no biggie. You know? Okay. Were you expecting that? Yeah, I was. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because I've been trying. <laughs> oh no. <nah. laughs> uh, Ray, you're no, but Mia, you're yes. So Mia, I'd love to hear more. I feel like the sex was cool for the time. That is a crazy way to spell spell Ray. And I enjoyed it. But I feel like if we were to try to revisit it now, it would be weird just on like an emotional level. But like the sex was good physically. Ray, why are you, why are you on no? Um, the sex was better for Mia than it was for me. Oh my God. Just because of the dynamics that we had specifically. Oh my God. So she was lazy. You was like, she was like the dom in the situation. I get it. It was more focused on what she wanted than what I wanted. What was it that you wanted that you weren't really getting? I'm a top. I'm so, also a top. Yeah, so that, that's, like what we're that's the conversation we're having yeah, here. Like, yeah. I, like, I enjoy topping, like, yeah. a lot. And okay. so, like, I was, like, switching to accommodate, and you were not as much. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, to be frank, I wanted to strap her more than she wanted to be strapped. These are just the craziest terms. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's happening. It's crazy that you said that verbally. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm Mia, and I'm... Oh, you just exposed her crazy. My name is Ray Pfizer. I'm 25. Um, we dated for two years. We weren't compatible. Yeah. We were yeah, I don't even know y'all like that. Priscilla, Victor, you both say yes. <laughs> I think we have a really good sex life. I'd only ever been with one other person before him. So when we got together, I was really given. Oh, yo shit trashed him. My bad. Y'all are made for each other. The space to like explore like sexuality in the room and new things. And it was just like a very safe and fun space. Mm. For me, I'm super into like the BDSM world. Okay. So getting to like finally explore that after like just reading about it for so long okay. was very fun for me. Mm. One out of 10, how was the experience? I was a 10. How's it for you, Victor? Oh, nah, Vic. Nah, a 10, 10. 10. <laughs> I just lost some suspense there, yeah. Ray, how about you, one to 10, how would you rate uh, sex with Mia? Uh, it's like a six. Oh, nah. A six? Yeah, it's like not bad sex. That's all I can really say. You got what you wanted a lot more than I did. What if she like um, neurodivergent? My Jen, what attracted? Wait, you're not gonna ask the other girl? Together? So I actually, he's not my type at all. <laughs> so then, yeah, so it was only after that he grew on me. Then I was like, I do like taller, bigger guys. Okay. Yeah. So then now oh. he's very attractive to me. Have it for you. Yeah, it's like same thing. We uh we started as best friends, and then so I never got attracted to her whatsoever. Um, and then it just grew. You know, it's it's that that love, that bond that we had. We were together for eight years. And we broke up about three years ago. We broke up because of trust issues and respect issues for each other and communication. Okay, the next prompt is- Are y'all both wearing Adidas? Wait, they got the same shoes? And we broke up- Oh my God. 
Oh my God. This this particular brand of Adidas is just wow. Up about three years ago, we broke up because of trust issues and respect issues for each other and communication. Okay, the next prompt is, my family and friends thought I could do better. This is a huge fear for me, chat. This is such a huge fear for me though. Like, I, I could just like, I already know what I like and what I'm capable of. Like the sec, if my sister sees a, a speck, a flaw, a, a nook of any, Stop caring what people think. I don't. But I'm just saying, it's still going to piss me off. It's still going to piss me off. I, I wouldn't even want to have that conversation. Make your split decisions in three, two, one. Like nobody's ever good enough. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and turn around. Wow. 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 <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Uh, Luna, you say, yes, your friends and family thought you could do better. Tell us more. My family liked Dane. It was more so my friends knowing of situations that we had been through. Do you have an example? So, in New Year's Eve. I'm surprised you got with Billie Eilish. In New Orleans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was pretty what angry. Happened? What happened? Um, <laughs> we, went, we went to a show and we came back and I had said something that upset him. He kind of threw a fit and... What'd you say? He just walked out the door and I ended up spending New Year's alone that night at my friend's house because everybody else was off doing stuff. So I was just kind of crying in the bed by myself. And had what did you say? No idea where he went just because of a small argument that had ensued earlier. Okay, and then, so your friends know about that kind of stuff. It, you know, made them think less of him for sure. I was not the best on that New Year's and I am very aware that her friends weren't too fond of me after that for sure. And that was just like getting close to the end of our relationship. But I, my friends and family really liked Luna, you know? Not all of them liked me. Yeah. Yeah, no. So Ray, your friends and family thought you could do better? Yes, um, you never really met any of my family, but all of my friends think that you took advantage of me and like didn't appreciate all the things that I did for you. Mm. They also found out about the PowerPoint that you made about my red flags after our first date. PowerPoint? Appreciate all the things that I did for you. They also found out about the PowerPoint that you made about my red flags after our first date. That's so it, funny. That's, isn't that hilarious? The PowerPoint? Yeah, yeah. she made a PowerPoint of my red flags after our first date and she went... Oh, fuck this girl. Oh with my her God. Friends. And then we were drunk. You're not savable. Eventually I found out and I like told my friends. Like, nah, oh, she's like, finished. Hey, that's actually not okay. Mm. She's finished. So, Neo, why she's did finished. you say yes? The way that you would speak to me sometimes like wasn't okay. Like you almost had like no filter to a point where you were just like being mean to me all the time. I would be mean to anybody making a fucking PowerPoint presentation instead of fucking talking to me. You're trash. Yeah, that's right. And I was like, damn. You're trash. Sucks. Like, I love you. Yeah, that's you know? my fault. My bad. Grew up in a crazy household. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. sorry. I think you were just like working through some stuff and my friends just like saw how that affected me. That's great. They love you now. PowerPoint crazy though. The next prompt is, I cheated on my ex. Not true. Never cheated in my life. Make your split Let's decisions go. in three, two, one. Mm. Okay, go ahead and turn around. Oh, the Adidas bit. Okay. You're matching shoes. Jen, you're on yes. Yeah. So we do not trust Latinas, chat. We were just really young. We dated since high school. We realized that we had very different love languages. And then I was just always constantly searching that in other people. But yeah, like I messed up. And then I heard him a lot because I'm also his first girlfriend and everything. Mm -hmm. And so like everything like really came crashing down hard. Mm -hmm. how, did, how did you find out? She Asian? Do not trust Latinas, chat. It was like a friend that we hung out with in a group huh. for I think like about three years or so. She talked to him and he talked to her behind my back. So then the girl that was with that guy at that time, I found out from her because she sent me messages okay. that they deleted from each other. So it hurt uh, like really, really, really bad because uh, I'm, I'm a guy of respect, you know, and then that's kind of disrespecting me. And you were in love with her? Yeah, yeah, I was. I mean, she was my first and then I thought she was my last too. What was it that made you want to cheat on him? I don't know, like I always told him, like when we started being together, I was like, I hate cheaters because I got cheated on before too. I think it was just more environmental factors, like how I am with my family, like I'm just like this perfect person. And then I think I always wanted to like self-destruct, self-sabotage, but he was like literally everything I ever had. Like he was the best person, like best boyfriend, he treated me right. Like our love language was very different, but like- There's never a reason why. You can't ever, you can't ever, like I said before, you can't ever have that conversation and be like, well, this is why, it's just no way, there's no reason why it's just not. I mean, he loved me and I know that he loved me, but then, I don't know what happened and I like that's my biggest regret after the cheating I tried to make it work you know but it was yeah, she was yapping crazy still in my mind in the back of my mind the trust was gone is there a chance I mean there's there's always a possibility what the, the fuck are is wrong it's whatever 
Next prompt is, since our separation, I've been with someone who is better in bed. This always happens. Make your split decisions in three, two, one. You know what actually happens? In my case, you're going to say Mr. Bitches. But in my case, I feel like I'm so much better once there's a separation and then you get back and then it's like it's perfect. It's damn it's basically flawless. And then it's like, wait, now I remember why we didn't work out cuz I keep getting better and you keep staying the same. I get it now. I get it now. You got to run back a couple times though to realize it. You know what I'm saying? You got to run back a couple times to realize it. I'm not saying Mr. Bitches. I'm just saying you. that's like that's the reality of the situation. All right, go ahead and turn around. So, hey, Jen, after friend. the breakup. Yeah. It sounds like B. Even better. It's just like popped in. Did you miss me? We did. We had, a, we had a religious conversation earlier, and we were sad that you weren't here. How am I ran through? I'm not. I was with him, like, that's the best I ever had. But then, like, when we broke up, like, I was with someone that, like, really loved me, like, really, like, just gave me everything, like, in the short amount of time that, like, for eight years, like, I couldn't even feel with him. So mm. that's why I think that love, their sex was better in the sense that it was, like, love. But I think that's what I was missing from him was, like, I couldn't receive love the way that he gave. Did you feel that way, too, during the sex? Like, you couldn't... So she cheated on you, and then she also agreed that she slept with someone who gave better to her crazy your love i i thought i gave my all 100 percent of it oh my god because that's all i knew and it still wasn't good enough so i i gave my 100 yeah his name is my why okay victor <laughs> how do you feel that um she's standing on yes right now that yes she had a better experience since you i mean good for you that's <laughs> awesome yeah. uh that's fine I feel like we were always pretty sex positive, so I think yeah. uh, if you're, nice response, Vic. If you're out there having great sex, like I'm not gonna hold it against you. It would be weird to uh, expect her to only have bad sex after the fact. You know, <laughs> I feel like I kind of pushed you to date other people. He, yeah, he kind of really yeah. did. I had I had a very negative view on relationships after we broke up because I was like just completely shattered and all my thoughts and beliefs were pretty much destroyed. Oh. <laughs> He's like, you're young, you're single, like get out there, meet people, like leave your house. We were together for two years and we broke up in July of 2021. I started feeling like I wasn't wanting to be in a relationship anymore. So yeah, I broke up with her. He seems like the more mature of the two most likely, like one probably got more life experience. Yeah. <laughs> the next prompt is, I never fully trusted my ex when we were together. Make your split decisions in three, two, one. I'm right, sorry everybody. for a Go guy who's on his purpose up. rather he a beta slash Simo or not the self-respect has to be there to speak for man at least. Yeah. Well, for anybody. So Ray never fully trusted Mia when yeah. we were together. So the second time that we dated, it was Polly. And it started off with me being a secret to one of her other partners. I didn't know that I existed. And then once I found out that I existed, didn't know why I was in Mia's life, i.e. we were dating. Um, so it just made me feel like anyone that she brought around, I didn't fully trust that they knew who I was and why I was around. For mm. whatever reason, Mia felt like uh, she couldn't tell this person about me. Mia, how do you feel about that? Fuck how Mia yeah, feel. That's pretty fair. I mean, it was kind of a weird situation because I had kind of like asked not to be privy to those things, and we were Polly at the time. That was like her kind of preference with things, so I just like didn't bring it up. But I was like your main, so it wasn't like we were just hooking up. What? Ray, what the? See, now nah, nah they just. I can't just be on one person's side, bro. You were like literally my girlfriend. Yeah. And she was the side. You know what I'm saying? Not to like break down Polly and your relationships <laughs> oh like God. that, but like you were my girlfriend. Like I was your partner. And yeah. she was just someone that was a branch of other relationships. Uh huh. But did this other person know that? Did yes. you communicate that to them? Yes. Yeah, everyone knew. Like, mm, I, not everyone. She knew you existed. She just didn't know like who you were because she didn't want to know. Like, I don't know, man. It's that. over. You don't, you don't even speak anymore, so it's. It's chill, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. Y'all niggas crazy to me personally. Luna, so you never, the trust wasn't fully ever there. In the beginning it was. Um, and there was Why does he keep looking like this with his head, man? It's so making me bad. It's like, like, dog, like, put your fucking head down. Incident where I was using his phone as a flashlight. And it's I like he's constantly being assaulted with words, bro. I hate his face. Girl texted him saying, come cuddle. And he swore that nothing 
sexual had happened to cause that. And whether I told myself I believe them or not, I just never could really come back from it. Anything you want to say to that? Yeah, so like that was out of the blue for me as well. That was my girl best friend at the time. But no, yeah, it was a random come cuddle and she knew that I was with Luna. That'll happen from time to time though. I actually don't blame him for that. And like, it was just like, like some of your, you'll be surprised as a male, some of your like women, for, some of them, not all of them, but some of them might start acting weird when you get with somebody. Okay. Dane said she was doing it on purpose. Yeah, to try I think she's done it I on could purpose. See it and I'm sure it happens with women too, obviously, but I'm just saying like, I'm speaking as a male. Get jealous to try and mm. get at me. So if you felt so, that way, then why was the trust gone though? Oh no. I, I, oh no, that's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah that's that, that was, was my saying. story. Oh, I see, I see, I see. True story. Gotcha. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I feel like that could have been part of it, but I didn't know if that was the whole story. How come you don't believe him when he says that? Something probably happened there. I don't know. But even if it didn't, like the fact that someone had felt comfortable enough to text him that while she knew he was dating me still made me uncomfortable. That, I mean, that's cool that it makes you uncomfortable. And I could have probably given you more comfortability if, you know what I'm saying, I cut her off or something like that. Maybe that would make you more comfortable. But honestly speaking, yeah, and no, I could do this that. This the dude that trained Arya Stark. Valar Bro, chill. Why are you doing that? And I could see why it, her trust was gone. My trust for her would have been gone if this. If the who cuddles with their friends though? I've slept with my friends, like on some cuddle shit, and like, I mean, sleep like nap time, uh, hugs for extended periods of time, like chill up underneath the wing, watch a movie, shit. Like it ain't nothing that gotta happen all the time. Tables were turned, you know. Hold on. This is getting kind of spicy. Take a second right now to smash that like button. And if you're really enjoying yourself, how about that subscribe button too while you're at it? Anybody could do that though. You really telling me you can't have physical contact with a person and not feel the urge to just, oh my God, we just gotta, you gotta hop up and down on my shit right now. Like, I just don't feel like that. I don't feel like you gotta feel that way about everybody. Let's get back into it. And I like hugs. I like, I like touching people to express affection and shit like that. I don't just, I just don't like doing it in public. The next prompt is, I've recently cried thinking about my ex. Make your split decisions in three, two, one. Wait, I I cried thinking about my ex? Damn. My, we recently- My, you gotta let it go. Don't tell me about to cry right now. over Jen, huh? Yeah, I mean like, it's not just one time. It was like multiple times since we playing the scenarios. Oh, they both cried over each other? She knew that he said, she knew that he was gonna say yes. She back in there. She back in there. It's like shattering, you know? Like Insane state. Had hopes and dreams sure. of something that would... I get a come cuddle text time going crazy. How is it? If it's my grandma, I get that come cuddle text it scripts. What? Stop lying to yourself. Why would the fuck would your grandma be texting you come cuddle number one? Number two, there's nothing wrong with and I didn't say in a relationship you should be responding to the come cuddle text. All I said was there's nothing crazy about cuddling your friend. There's nothing crazy about that. Nothing has to happen. Y'all weird. Y'all y'all overly horny, and you think that's a sign to to immediately fuck all the time, and it's just not. I'm a, and you could just be a sleepy person, bro. I I'm a big fan of taking daily naps. I'm a big fan of like you know what I'm saying. Your friend hop off work, or she don't got work this morning, and she want to come see you, or she want you to come see her, and it's like oh, okay, I want to spend some time with you, and then you just end up falling asleep, and then you wake up, eat some food. You know what I'm saying? I enjoyed your day. You can sleep on your own. You can do a lot of stuff on your own, but it's even better with another person. It's a better with another person sometimes. There's nothing wrong with that. I just realized come cuddle and come cuddle were separate. In All right. You know, be like the end, but it's not. And then like every time that I think about it, it's just, it's just like heartbreaking. How about you? Well, probably all the time, so probably like probably like last week or something. Mm. I don't know. We always try to talk about like getting back together because like we're like almost thirty now. Like we should have like a family and kids. Or I mean like it's expected of me to have family and kids. But then I feel like there's so much things that are just broken and dented in our. Just because you're not in a relationship doesn't mean they're just a friend. Sure, but I feel like I'm pretty good at reading people. I really am. So if it's nothing, then you should be able to do it while having a girlfriend too, right? No, because it's inappropriate while you're in a relationship. I'm not going to have a girlfriend and go and have physical contact with another woman. Use your fucking brain. Relationship that it, I don't think it'll go well, even though I want it to go well. So if I never like messed up in the past or if I never like took him for granted, then we would probably still be together. As y'all have like observed, I'm mostly like in the wrong in our relationship. Pretty much. I was really lazy and I could have done. So no hugs. Not unless it's in front of my girl. And you getting a super respectful hug on God. 
I don't I don't like that. A lot of things differently. So whenever I think about how happy I was in our relationship and how I was really like not the best, it makes me, you know, tear up, cry. How do you feel knowing that he's this emotional about this? I feel bad. You got any I exes I mean, you I would feel... take back? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Two in particular. But we But that's why I say you should be on good terms with your ex still. Cause I think sometimes being on good terms with your ex prevents you from getting into new situations with people that are going to be like passer buyers or fighter characters in your story. You know, that's why you should be on good terms. Cause like I might need, we might need to run back for a little bit just to see, did we make a mistake? Did we not? Sometimes you do. Sometimes you don't. Um, but I think it's good that, you know, to just end off on good terms with everybody, you know, you don't have to be so, uh, why you not with your ex then? Creative differences. I told y'all this before. And I don't, I'm not playing around when I say that. Like, we got different things that we into. Got different things or different places in life that we're at. But it's it's still love. It's still love. Honestly, I feel neutral over it. I hate that he still gets upset about it. But it is what it is. It is what it is. You trying to come Next prompt is. I love my ex. Smiley face. Me. Of course. Uh -huh. Make your split decisions in three, of two, course. one. I love my ex more than they loved me. Okay, go ahead. I don't really feel like I loved like that though, Chad. Go ahead and turn around. I think I did. I don't ex I'm not an emotional person though. I'm a sensitive person. I'm not an emotional person though, Chad. So my you loved uh Jen more than she loved you. Like the way people express their love, in my opinion, is a little weird to me. There, there were things that she did that showed me that she doesn't love me. She's like a word of affirmations kind of kind of person, but even though the words say that, you know, she loves me, it doesn't show it. The disrespect, the mistrust, yeah. I mean, I mm. thought I knew what love was. I thought I loved him, but of course, like, if you love someone, you don't really go and do that. Yeah, you and don't. I would say, like, now I feel like I appreciate and love him more. So roles have been reversed now, but before it was definitely him loving me mm. a lot more. Mm. Priscilla, you loved him more than he loved you during the relationship? He initially pursued me, and then as we got more and more into it, I mean, he's the one who broke up with me, so obviously I loved him more. At that point, he was mine forever. I never saw anybody else but him. For like me. the one? Yeah, he was just the one. Victor, did you know that she thought, she felt that you were the one? Uh, yeah, she would say it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, you know what, I, I learned uh, something about myself in that relationship, and that was that I'm not that much of a relationship person. How did I lose you? What are you talking about? It was like tough to reconcile because while we were in it, it felt like this is such a good relationship. This is so solid. Like this is somebody that I should have in my life forever. Mm. But it still wasn't like satisfying on the inside. Like I still didn't Bro, did feel see like I wanted I to be in a relationship. So you haven't been in a relationship fully since? Turning since we broke up, I haven't dated anybody. Thirsty. But no, he's definitely the kind of person where we're conversation. He's like, yeah. I'm with this conversation. Mm. And that's how I felt a long time about our relationship that he mm. just woke up and was like, yeah, I'm good about this now. How did that feel when you, when you discovered that? When you felt that from him, like, oh, he's done. I remember specifically when I felt it. It was about three months before we broke up because we went to the movies and I went to hold his hand and it was the first time he didn't hold it back. Mm. And Everyone is a relationship person. He just hasn't met the right one. I don't believe that. I think that uh, it's more about like, it's about timing. That's really what it is. I, I'm not into uh, You could be the perfect person. If it's not the right time, then it's not going to happen. And I just instinctively knew that like something was off. And then two days after my birthday, Ooh. that's when he decided. Uh, Luna, Dane, you both say yes, you both loved each other more. Dane, let's start with you. You know, in a relationship, you're, you're, you're physical with your partner. You tell them that they're cute, amazing, that you love them. You always reassure them how much they mean to you. And I never got any of that from Luna. You don't have to say any of that shit though. That's where people go wrong and everybody feels like they have to have the same relationship. So they expect things from people whose personalities very clearly dictate that they're not into that type of like expressing their love for you by saying, oh, you're beautiful or oh, you're pretty. Like everybody's not into the same shit, dude. Like and I could tell by her face like she like, what the fuck? You knew that that wasn't me from the very beginning, probably. I'm not going to sit up there and just like every fucking day, bro. You grown. You know I'm not with you for no reason. Obviously, I'm attracted to you and I like the way you look. If I'm wet, if I'm willing to be in an exclusive relationship, like we're not little children or nothing like that, bro. We grown people. Not saying that this isn't nice to hear, but having it be like a necessity, I just feel like everybody not going to be like that. And if they're not, you shouldn't be like, oh, yeah, this person, they're not giving me what I need because I don't think it's necessary.
Mm. Which made me it really like, lie. Apparently that's nobody said I don't compliment my partner. It's just not a thing that if I don't do, you should feel like, oh, this person don't find me attractive anymore, especially when we're doing the things that would basically put me in a position where I would have to find you attractive to do those things with you. Like, yeah. I feel like you just it's, it becomes less of a affirmation thing and more of like a security thing, like your own self-confidence to a degree. Like, nobody else can fulfill that. That's how I felt, and it just, like, threw me off in our relationship, for sure. I tried to say positive things to you, but if you didn't hear them, it's... W what was it you didn't hear, like... Things that made me feel appreciated or important, you know? Mm -hmm. And so, why do you say yes, Luna? Actions speak louder than words. I feel like I made more sacrifices for our relationship, and I just don't, like, feel like my... I didn't feel like my energy was matched by Dane. Just be with a person that fulfills that? No, you have to fulfill that yourself. You just should have a supportive partner, but like, I'm like, I grew, at least to me, I grew up where like my mom and my sister and my, you know, my family, like they didn't say that type of stuff. And you should just be with somebody who you don't need to have those types of differences with. I just wouldn't be with a woman that would need me to, you know, have to tell her that like all the time. But um, I was raised in a, in a, in a realm where, you kind of have to find value outside of just the way you look. And so even if you didn't feel like you looked the best, those things didn't really matter, I guess, to me or when I was growing up. It, it was about other things. So it didn't really it's like it's hard to be insecure about something that you don't see value in anyway. Like I was raised to believe everybody going to get old, everybody going to fall, fall off looks wise, even if you look good temporarily, like. This just isn't where you should find your biggest, you know what I'm saying, system of value. And you shouldn't look for that when you're looking for a partner, you know. And do they both have like different love languages? Because I feel like you probably have words of affirmation. So you need that. And then the, oh, yeah, so that's probably like, what she like yeah, you thought she was sure. lacking. Because that's how me and I was I also going to say that we both have yeah. different perspectives of yeah. love. And it's just like it doesn't work because we can't give each other what we each other need, you know. Yeah. You like telling me you love me and I'm beautiful doesn't equate to me asking you for help in a certain. Wait, what? He's not just talking about looks. Well, what what did he say? Am I missing something? What did he say? But no, you told them that. That's when he decided. Uh, Luna, Dane, you both say yes. You both loved each other more. Dane, let's start with you. You know, in a relationship, you you're, you're physical with your partner. You tell them that they're cute, amazing, that you love them. You always reassure them how much they mean to you. And I never got any of that from Luna, mm. which made me it really like, lie. And that could just be straight cap too. By the way, you say it multiple times at some point throughout the relationship. I'm not saying that you can't uh say it ever but the way it's coming off is it was almost like it's a necessity to hear this like every single day or some shit like that Apparently that's even reassurance is just like why i just don't feel like i don't feel like that's necessary yeah, but that's how i felt i don't need you to reassure me when we are together like you being here and us being together is the reassurance to me and it just like threw me off in our relationship for sure. I tried to say positive things to you, but if you didn't hear them, that's... What was it you didn't hear like? Things that made me feel appreciated or important, you know? Mm -hmm. That's different. That's different. Somebody saying that they uh, are not taking you for granted is different from them saying like, oh, I have to say, I have to hear these things and these words like daily or something like that. To me, I don't think that's necessary. And so why do you say yes, Luna? Actions speak louder than words. I feel like I made more sacrifices for our relationship and I just don't like felt like my I didn't feel like my energy was matched. Just because you need food doesn't mean that's what he needs. What? What do you mean? By Dane. So you think if you're insecure that you don't deserve to be in a relationship? That's not what I said. I said if you are insecure, you should find someone who can fulfill the urges or the desires you have to be reassured in a relationship. You shouldn't get with someone who clearly is not molded to be that support system that you need if you are deeply insecure and i think more more commonly you should probably just fix the root of whatever that is first before you hop into a relationship with anybody looking for them to be like this pillar of uh reassurance and support for you um that's just me though um but 
Yeah. Do they both have like different love languages? Because I feel like you probably have words of affirmation. That's just me though. Need that, and then the, oh, yeah, so that's probably what she. Like, There's people that don't want to be in a relationship anymore, and because they're afraid to break it off first, they do everything to sabotage the. Re- yeah, that's true. That's true. I agree with that 100. Like, yeah, you thought she was sure. lacking, but that's how me. And I was I also gonna too. say that we both have yeah. different perspectives of yeah. love, and it's just like it doesn't work because we can't. I don't need someone to cook for me to feel or give love, but I don't say Sean just a fat nigga. You are losing me. And I'm not saying that that makes a person if you if you're using the analogy in the way that I think you are, I'm not saying that it makes a person insecure because they want to hear words of affirmation or because they want to feel uh, reassured. I'm just saying I don't think that's a necessity. And to me, it's not a necessity either. And and again, food being my love language isn't a necessity. It's just something that I would like. So I'm going to look for that. But I'm not going to make someone feel less than or not feel relationship adequate or like they're doing something wrong if they don't know how to cook. I'm just looking for a chef. Can't give each other what we each other need, you know? You like telling me you love me and I'm beautiful doesn't equate to me asking you for help in a certain area of our relationship and like over and over and over again. I definitely feel like I made sacrifices that went unnoticed in our relationship still and you still don't even notice them. What kind of sacrifices? Like Like moving all the way from Florida to live in Alabama so she could be closer to her family. And You're the one who like, you wanted to move in together. Okay, but he's looking for reassurance and that's valid. I'm not saying it's not valid, but he's, the, the basis of this question is I love my ex more than they love me. And he's using his understanding of what her understanding of reassurance and shit is to quantify her level of love for him and i think he could just be sorely missing the point of where she was in life at that point or just where she is in general especially if y'all clearly are not on the same page when it comes to expressing what that love is supposed to be i just feel like he might be misrepresenting what her version of it is and that's why i said in the beginning everybody expresses love differently You have to get to an understanding of what that is with someone. And I just think most of y'all get in relationships way too fast. And you're surprised at what people end up displaying as you get to know them more. The most. You wanted to make that move initially. I I I think you wanted to make the move the most, but I don't want to do this right now. (laughs) This is the place to do it, I feel like. Yeah. I'm the one who got the apartment. I went and worked and I I didn't go work at all or make any money or put in or contribute to any of that. I know you did a lot, but I just felt like I I did feel like I was doing more. Did you feel like you were doing more i didn't feel like i was doing more i felt like we were equally like striving for something like it was i feel like it was equal for a while there but until i realized that she didn't feel the same way and then i stopped trying as hard i see ray you want to share your experience there was a period of time where i would literally bend over backwards for you and like run across all the seas to like make you happy and i didn't feel any of that back i like thinking about it right now i can't think of a single thing that you ever did for me that was specifically like for me like just to make me happy she made you a fucking PowerPoint presentation. What you talking about? I think you loved how much I loved you more than you actually loved me. I didn't feel loved by you until, honestly, like, recently. I don't know. It felt, like, too little, too late for me. Like, by the time you were, like, open and willing to, like, put an effort like that, like, I was already kind of, like, checked out, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. At that entire time, I didn't feel any love from you. Like, you actually forced me not to say I love you the first time I wanted to say it because you could, like, see that I wanted to say it. You were like, hey, don't say that. So then I didn't say it. You didn't, you didn't want Ray to say I love you? I don't even remember how many months in that was, but it was, like... Re- Damn. That's not the thing to say. Really quick. So I felt like it was soon. Do you remember, actually? Yeah, it was like only a couple months in, I want to say. Damn, that's awkward. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know, I was a different person back then. <laughs> yeah. But you yeah. felt a lot. Yeah, you I felt it. like, yeah, I genuinely felt like I loved you. Honestly, I think we only dated for someone because we we're attracted to each other. Like, everything else was, like, fine. Yeah, So yeah, I would agree. <laughs> <laughs> Glad we settled that. <laughs> the next prompt is, I made significant sacrifices in our relationship that went unnoticed and unappreciated. Mm. This is me when it comes to communication. Cause I don't think a lot of niggas understand how much I have to filter myself when I'm talking to them about certain shit um, or about anything. And they just think that like, bro, like the mental gymnastics I have to take myself through sometime when I'm talking to someone is actually insane like you could drive yourself crazy trying to consider every fucking variable of how a person is going to react to something that you might say and i don't think people appreciate how much i censor myself i'm just saying make your split decision in three two one go ahead and turn around jennifer what were some of those things that you did like he's just not really used to his parents telling him i love you and all that so then I feel like I see he's dating your fucking ass. The way that I cared about him, it was just very unnoticed because he didn't really read how I 
give love the same way. Like, you don't tell me that I'm pretty or you don't tell me mm -hmm. that you enjoy being with me. Um, we hang out and I'll be like, oh my God, I, I really wanna hang out with you. And he's like, we have been hanging out, but then we're just like in our room, like doing nothing. I just felt like he didn't really care. Why would someone appreciate sugarcoating? That's not what the fuck I said, dumb nigga. What I said was they don't appreciate how I might have to take myself through challenges trying to communicate with them. That doesn't mean that I can't say the exact same thing in a much different way but just with significantly more words attached, most likely. Of how much love. <laughs> like I the length of time I'd have to use in order to get to the same conclusion that I come out, I might be able to talk to somebody else uh, for a shorter duration for is fucking insane. I gave him. I mean, our love languages are completely opposite. I grew of course, that's what you do when you love someone. I'm just saying I think it goes underappreciated, even by the people that I, that I love. I grew up with like a, a household that, you know, them saying sorry to me is like, hey, you want to go eat? Kind of thing so it's like never that's not what sugarcoating is you stupid fuck that's not what that is some of y'all think that you have to be rude to people and be so short and like unempathetic in order to communicate a thought and you don't that's completely different that has nothing to do with sugarcoating you're dumb as hell that those words so i'm not used to it and so it, it's really hard it's like she's speaking spanish i'm speaking chinese and we're trying to like you know communicate it's not it's not easy you know like at that time like there's no way to, to recognize it we weren't mature enough we didn't know anything um until now hmm. Uh, Dane, so you made significant sacrifices that you felt went unnoticed. Most definitely, like, just all of the love that I gave her, honestly, that I feel like it went unnoticed and unappreciated because, like, it's just, it was more materialistic from her and I felt like I had to do more things in order for her to notice what I had to offer. Yeah, but the question was, like, what did you sacrifice for a relationship that I didn't appreciate? Didn't you say your nephew was sick to avoid a date? Of course. The fuck they gotta do with what I just said? Me moving all Y'all not winning that battle. Because I'm going to be honest. Just to come live with you in Alabama. But that was something you told me you wanted to do. Because you said you wanted me to do it. And I made that sacrifice to be away from my family so you could stay with yours. No, because if you're saying the exact same sentence with extra coding, aka more words, newsflash, that's sugar coding. No, it's not. No, it's not. You can get to a similar conclusion and get there in a different way, uh, depending on what you feel is valid for the person and what they need in terms of. Uh, empathy and what some people need shorter sort of communication to get to that same point some people need to hear a harsh truth some people need to hear the truth but a bit softer it's not called sugarcoating that's not what that is and it didn't mean anything to you it did and that's why i tried so hard to keep everything we had going and i did too by that time that's when our relationship definitely started to fail and that's when i feel like you stopped caring as much Maybe, I mean, you might have been depressed because you moved away. Why didn't I tell them they didn't want to go? Because I didn't think they were important enough to hear the truth. Just being honest with you. I understand that. I get that, but... And you didn't bother to be there for me or ask I me would, if I was okay at all. I ever. did all the time. You didn't... No, you were always just, like, nagging me to do things. Because you felt like the move was a big enough sacrifice was to show your love. Yeah, I mean, for sure. And, like, I put a... Okay, brother, tomato, tomato. No, nigga, you got tomatoes. I got fucking steak. I got the meat over here. So Stop talking to me. Catering gig, and I got us both these dope jobs. Just because you moved to where I was doesn't mean you don't have to uphold your end of the relationship anymore. And I, I still upheld my end of the relationship. You just stopped noticing me. Okay, I don't want to get, like, into an argument, but... See, they about to get mad. I feel like that's every time I bring... Like, I could sit here and apologize for my parts in the relationship all day long and notice everything that I didn't, like, do for you. But any time that I bring up, like, something I felt in the relationship, you say you don't want to argue and that I'm wrong and that I'm not... I didn't say you're wrong. You pretty much are. You can say it without saying it. Yeah, he emotional as hell. And she's not as emotional, it seems. So he probably takes that as like, you don't care about me. That's a very, that's a very annoying relationship to be in. Oh, fuck, bro. Sorry, like, sorry, sorry. That's just so much extra work just to constantly just like, oh my fucking God, bro. Like, yeah, are you picture perfect? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, Luna. So like what specifically were like these, like the adult things that you wanted him to do that he wasn't doing? It was simple things like, can you wash your clothes? <laughs> oh my God. It's always some stupid shit. And I'm, that could be a genuine annoyance, but like, this is the shit that the nigga was like, okay, I can't, like, what do you mean I didn't wash my clothes? He about to get super defensive, I swear to God. Can you pick up after yourself? Yeah, this is crazy. Can you, after you finish cooking, can you- You mad she didn't want to sew help clean up but like, it was like such a thing like like I, I could like finish like a bowl of cereal 
and put the cereal bowl in the sink and just run to the bathroom real quick. Cause you know, it's hard to do things when you gotta use the bathroom. You not, you was not going back for that fucking plate, bro. You wasn't, you was leaving that shit in there for about six hours, bro. I know. Cause I used to do it when I was a teenager, but you didn't grow out of it and it's okay. She'd immediately be like, you didn't wash your freaking dishes. And that just like, this kind of so, stuff just happened annoying. so, 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 so many it's times. Like, that's about a time thing, it was though. like, yeah, it was just, mm. I was over it. It was just always up to me. To yeah, make. that's the play right there. Oh, no, I got it later. I'm just, I'm letting it soak. Don't worry about it. Like, it's sitting there for about five, six days. I'm just letting it soak. It got to really soak in, I'm bro. Sure chill. That what you mean? That's not garbage right there. I need that bag. It's, it's, it's I got to put the rest of it. The bag not even full yet. Let me take it out. Why are you doing that? Oh, my God. I'm done. I feel like that was unsaid in our relationship, but it, that was the way it was. In your mind, that's the way it was. So Ray, you made some significant sacrifices that you felt were unappreciated, unnoticed. Yes. Um, we started dating. We lived like 45 minutes away from each other, and I would drive to you every weekend. You deleted her PowerPoint presentation. You came to my apartment once to the what like six months we were together at that time. Um, I flew from overseas to see you. Spent like twenty three thousand dollars, twenty three hundred dollars on Ooh. a plane ticket, and you felt like you were doing me a favor by not charging me rent for the month that I was staying with you even though I just paid like two or two grand to come see you. No, I appreciate you for driving that much. Damn. Like I'll admit I didn't like your apartment. I didn't like driving. I think it's less about me doing it than how you're responding to me doing it. Like I never felt appreciated. And Mia, you're on yes as well. You also feel like you made significant sacrifices that. This guy, one of those niggas that need a lot of emotional displays and she's probably closer to you personality wise, but it seems like he's more annoyed that lack of actions he do to help her in life. Yeah, I, I agree. I think she's more like, analytically viewing the relationship like you just weren't on the ball like for real weren't appreciated and that's fair because especially when you grown you should be looking at what a person in your life does in terms of value i think like emotional you don't want to be taking care of a grown-ass kid labor no emotional I don't, labor no idea what you're talking about i don't i honestly cannot imagine a single sacrifice you made for a relationship is this about our intimacy yeah that's not a, a sacrifice no but you. it is though because it's like like it was like either it's gonna happen your way or it's not gonna happen at all Bottoming is like not something I want to do all the time. And like, I, I had to in order to be intimate with you. And there was no like equalness to that whatsoever. And I like, like no compromise was trying to be respectful of the fact that like you weren't comfortable with your body at the time, which is why I did it. But I'm saying that's like a lot of emotional labor to like go through. That's that's fair. People people sleep on how, how big of a part, uh you know, sex plays in a relationship. And your overall, the confidence of said relationship, they sleep on that. Intimacy? Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I just can't see it that way because I don't, you're not, you didn't, I had such like gender confusion. It was insane. And what was going on inside of my brain and how I felt about myself was worlds larger than anything that you could have been experiencing because you couldn't go down on me. I'm being honest. Like there's no way in the world that you felt as intensely about that as I felt as intensely about how shitty I felt on my body. You're right, but if those things were never communicated, then she don't know where you're coming from and things to her always end up in your way. Like that kind of just leave her on the outside. Literally telling if me you're not if you're not able to communicate that, then like again, y'all just shouldn't be together. That how I felt about it doesn't matter because it pales in comparison to your journey with it's it. Not that it doesn't matter, but what do That's you That's basically what you just said. Sacrificing from not topping me. Okay, like imagine not being able to top someone that you love. You're a top. Yeah. So it was like my be... first queer relationship yeah, and I was figuring things out. And yeah. so it was like my identity and my room for growth was not a thing that could happen because of like exterior circumstances. And that sucked for me. And I felt like I, like you only wanted me to be a very specific version of myself mm -hmm. that was in the way that you could have it. And I had to put everything that I was to the side to accommodate that. Does that make sense? Mm -mm. What the fuck? Is it because, sorry, are you saying that like who you became wasn't someone that I wanted to be with? Yeah. I, yeah, I would agree with that 100%. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, fully. I think the same thing for you. You telling me they never talked about this? Yo, you know how easy it is to get into an argument? Good to me. So. The next prompt is. You go from just sitting on the couch chilling, you reading your book, she on the iPad, or y'all both watching the show. Next thing you know, you arguing over a coffee cup. It start off with something just so stupid. I wish my ex. Like, why your finger broken? You didn't tell me. You know, I almost got hit by a car, and then she heard from somebody else. Why didn't you say nothing? And I were still. The fuck was you gonna do if I got hit by a fucking car? Teleport together. Make your split decisions in three, two, one. Okay, go ahead and turn around. Wait, what is this? I wish my ex and I were still together. Mm. 
Damn. Oh my God. No way, dude. He's really gonna get God. He gonna get God. My, my. You know, Dan, I'm, I'm a little surprised to see you on know after this conversation today. <laughs> yeah, I know. I changed my mind today. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> You know, just like coming out here with like my own intentions and like just realizing that I'm pretty like stupid for like thinking that me and her would ever have a chance again. And just the way, seeing that the way both of us interact together this whole trip, just makes me. Billie Eilish wildin'. Not wanna be together with her anymore. And it's so crazy when people break up because neither person generally looks at it like, oh, I could have did this different. Like this whole time, Dane is just like, I feel like, and it only take one person to take accountability for something they did first for another person to follow suit. Like if I say I did this, maybe it might open a light for you or might open the door for you to walk down the same path. And be like, OK, well, you know what? I did this and I did this and I did this and I did this. And we just probably shouldn't have been together at that time. You know, but I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. How do you feel? All she really did ask, though, was for him to clean the dishes and wash his ass. But he not doing that. About that. <laughs> I agree. We just don't match well anymore yeah what what you came here today hoping for what i what? came on this whole trip with luna just to make her happy hopefully that like she would notice that i care enough to spend time with her and do stuff that she wants to do so that maybe you could get back together yeah so this was about you niggas don't listen <laughs> don't listen at all you just you talk for two seconds and you just end up making yourself look like a fucking idiot but there's no happening with that, so I'm just like, like this nigga did. He just th he just thought he spit. Like accepting it now and standing on no. Mm. Yeah. You say yes. They right? all look at him crazy. Get back together. Um, if there were a maybe, I would say maybe, maybe. <laughs> but uh, there's a lot to work on. We can relate to each and everyone's story a little bit. He like, if I just wait her out long enough, she'll see me. Um. Yeah, okay. Billy Eilish don't got a chance. A lot, of it is a lot about communication. I do something for her, she doesn't acknowledge it. Right. And so I feel like whatever I'm doing is just worthless. Right? What do you do for me, though, that I don't acknowledge it? I feel like I always acknowledge everything. I should have ended it, but I didn't know any better. And so we kind of dragged it on further than we should. So why are you in the still green option? If you could just get the love languages right, you think you could be together? Uh, Yeah. And the infidelity, yeah. I think so, because I feel like everyone here, like, the reason why we're not together is because, like, everyone's communication is so different. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, it's just, it's just so, like, prominent. You did love me. You just loved me in the way that I couldn't even, like, realize. And then I loved you, but then you didn't care about everything that I did verbally for you. Like, me wanting to know where like, your whereabouts. He thought I was nagging him the whole time. I'm like, no, I just want to know where you are. Like, just let me know so I can, like, just feel safe. So you're both trying to change that to be back together? I mean, I want to, but I don't know. I feel like you're not really ready for that conversation or something yet. She was my best friend. She was my girlfriend, my best friend, and pretty much my family, but kind of shattered that. So it's kind of hard to rebuild. You said yes, so. Yeah, I mean, like, there, there's always there's, there's always oh, room. Yeah. <laughs> you said there's always room. Uh, no, the fuck there's not. And, you know, it's always room, but it's not going to happen overnight kind of thing. I still need to work on myself. That's good. That's good. The next prompt is, I believed we would spend the rest of our lives together. I don't think I've ever felt it. Mm, nah, I don't think I ever felt that way. Well... Now, I've set with the thought and then it'll leave you. It left me after a couple of days. Make your split decisions in three, two, one. Okay, go ahead and turn around. Damn. Hmm. So, Victor, you thought you would spend the rest of your life with Priscilla? Yeah, in the beginning I did, yeah. Uh, it's like I was saying earlier, I, I learned over the course that we weren't quite compatible, but in the beginning it was, I was like head over heels. I was completely in love. She said it herself. I, I uh, pursued her. So just, I don't know. Just couldn't get over myself, I guess. I think it's a, from the moment I saw him, like he literally took my breath away. And then when we got into a relationship, I was like. Bro, what is it with the mustache with no chin though? Like no goatee, but just stash. Is that like the move now? Is that the meta? Like, oh my gosh, this is what I've always wanted. Like this is the exact relationship I've always dreamt of having and we always had that honest communication and he kept it there. no i'm not saying he don't look good i'm talking about i'm just asking because it's just an unusual combo to entertain to the end because i said you know just always be honest with me and he was when he said that he this wasn't something that he wanted to do or be in anymore so he's still one of my best friends and i will always have love for him i'm not in love with him anymore but 
that love I have for him will never cease. Mm. Mia. <laughs> That's so, what I said. I said you seem way more mature than her. Spend the rest of your lives together. Yeah, I mean, I was like young. I was like 19. I was a baby. Um, like, I do hope to spend the rest of my life with you. You know, like, I hope that. Homies? Yeah, I hope that we're homies for like a real long time. Like, I hope that I get to be at your wedding and you get to be at mine. And like, I don't know, I really appreciate you in my life. So. Why the fuck would I ever allow somebody who I fuck to be. Y'all had a different relationship, though, bro. Never mind. I, I, I keep forgetting, like, the foundation upon which they built the relationship. Oh. <laughs> So Luna, you never felt like Dane was the person I'd be spending the rest of my life with? I feel like we may have ended up being together for a very long time, but I just couldn't really see myself with anyone forever. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And then once we neared the end of our relationship, it became more clear that we weren't compatible living together. So she like me, kind of. At that point. I mean, yeah, of course, I thought we were going to you know, spend the rest of our lives together. I don't really spend time in, enough time with people unless that's like my goal. Mm -hmm. I think relationships can still be important and not have to. My goal? enough time with people unless that's like my goal mm. my goal or my goal mm. i think relationships can still be important and not have to Goal sounds so weird man end in marriage or you know lifelong companionship yeah for sure yeah for sure the next prompt is my ex has a quality that will be really hard to find in someone else yes do you know what you give up when you let certain people go oh my god damn never get that back i can actually but i don't want to be together oh god i need food bro chill classify info that's hilarious nah man. make your split decision in three two one uh, okay go ahead and turn around hmm. well you know luna just has her own qualities about her that you know like everybody, every other human does. So I'm not looking for qualities that Luna had in other people anyways. So I say no. Mia, what qualities did Ray have that you don't feel like you can find in anyone else? You're a really dope person. I'm glad that I like found you and have you in my life. And I don't think anyone could like fill the specific spot that you fill in my life. It's not like a... Wait, so if you feel that way, why would you come on this trip with her to try to get back? Like you basically calling her an average human being, which is cool, but like... Shouldn't have never came on this show. I wouldn't if I thought you had something that everybody else had. Come on. I'm oh. flying across country with you. Like, oh, I could just, like, put another friend in your spot. I hate that I stepped on no. It's the <laughs> truth. No, it's, like, the no, still yeah. how I feel. I, I don't want you to think that you're not, like, special or anything like that. Because you definitely, like, are a good person and someone that, like, came into my life and, like, changed it in, um, in a net positive, honestly, even though we went through so much. But, like, I thought that when we broke up, I would never find anyone that I got along with so well. And then I, like, did. Yeah. So, like, it just, it, oh, yeah, it was, yeah, it was proof to me that, like, it's great that you're here, but if you like weren't, I don't. I think I'd be okay, which I'm sure that you would also be okay. Yeah, about. like yeah. it's not on a romantic yeah, level that yeah, I like yeah. stepped here. I appreciate that you're really supportive. I think with Victor, he he just creates this quality of making me feel so safe and comfortable. He was like, I felt so comfortable anytime he would do this really reassuring thing when we would walk through a crowd. He would always place his hand towards the back of my neck to kind of like guide me in a way, and it was so. You mean like your father? Oh no. I see the dynamic completely now. Not to say that that's not just a good thing to do, though. Like, not saying that that's not a cool thing to do. But I'm just saying, like, it's such a difference in maturity between these two. That I feel like this nigga probably, like, 36 and she just turned 25 or some shit. It was subtle. I don't even know if you remember. But I, I think about that when I'm in big crowds. And it's like I haven't found that sense of, like, where I'm with someone and I'm like, oh, I can mm. just, like, be. It's amazing. Uh, I think Priscilla is probably the kindest person that I've ever met. Uh, mm. She's unbelievably nice. Even the people that are mean to her, which is probably not a good thing. But <laughs> she's super nice. She's incredibly hardworking. I've seen it personally, like the things that she's done to like, go out of her way to Look at this nigga, man. <laughs> like, how am I going to take... Like, how would you... How do you expect to be taken serious, gay? Like, what the fuck are you doing? You are not her. Stop. Take care of her family. She Stop. takes incredible care of our dog. Like that dog eats better than I do. Um, yeah, she's just somebody that you can lean on, rely on. Yeah. Love Shell. Ah. Has he never told you this? You think I'm cool? That's awesome. <laughs> I didn't say cool. Okay, well maybe not cool. Um, you think it. I'm cool. kind? Okay. The next prompt is: I'm ready to ask you in this studio right now. 
Will you take me back? She gon' Nah, nobody's gonna put themselves out there like that. Okay, everyone, make your split decisions in three, nobody's two, doing that. one. Nobody's doing that. Okay, everybody, go ahead and turn around. Yeah, 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 nah. <laughs> That's way too much ego to have to put to the side, nah. Not in public. They're gonna get a text, though. <laughs> Some people are like, really, like, oh, thank God. <laughs> Not on camera, oh my God. Yeah, this nah, 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 nah. That, I almost thought Maya was about to, but I'm glad he didn't. Both of us have grown into two completely different people in the last nine months. Definitely on different paths. Neither of them negative, just it makes it clear to why we broke up. I think it was kind of eye-opening because I feel like everyone are exes here because they don't see eye to eye at all. And that was really the downfall of everything with us too. It's interesting to see how how solid our friendship is like all this time later. It's cool to just have all these questions kind of reaffirm it. Well, that's all we had time for today. Thanks for watching this episode of Split Decision. Cool, bro. Um, I forgot his last name already. Was it Takaha? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to repeat it because y'all gonna try to make me sound away and I, not that way at all um decent vid you know uh nobody got back together i'm a fan of that i'm a fan of that takahashi that's not the that was not the name there's no way i'm going back to see you might have been depressed because you moved always just split decision i'm your host Kat Takahashi. oh my god Today, it was taka takahashi oh my god is this a 21 million dollar mansion in the snowy Islands? We're going to watch that on Tuesday. 